pronunciation chance on parenthood, chance of Zawodnictwo of Serbia. I am going to talk about communication at the first visit with the fertility specialist and problems in communication. And I want to thank you, Fertility Europe, for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you again. I declare that I have no commercial or financial interest. So, uh, communication is a basic skill in medicine because doctors need to make a successful diagnosis and, be, and build a good relationship with their patients. Good communication skills, patience, and sensitivity to a patient's, pro to, uh, to a patient's problems and, and, uh, uh, are essential for establishing mutual confidence. At the beginning, we can say it is very important never to impose personal attitudes upon a patient even if the doctor believes that they are for the patient's well-being. Communication in healthcare requires knowledge, competence, and technical skills. Communication with patients who deal with infertility issues is specific for several reasons. They do not feel ill and often do not sense that, that uh, there is anything wrong with them. Certainly, the reason they have the consultation and examination is their inability to conceive. The first consultation is the start of treatment. This is the beginning of communication, which must have a good basis as it is, a two-way process. It is fundamental that both parties should listen to each other. We conduct extensive research to determine issues in communication during the first visit, help resolve these in the right way, and make conclusions. We wanted to obtain relevant, precise, and reliable data. From November 2018 to March 2019, we conduct online research titled Communication between Patients and Doctors. This questionnaire had two parts, one for patients and another for doctors. Both parts were completed anonymously. The part for patients consists of 25 multiple choice questions and the one for the IVF specialist had 11 questions. There was no time limitation and the questionnaire could be filled in only once. The objective was to reveal the problems in communication between patients and facility specialists at the beginning of the procedure, but also to offer solutions. We wanted to point to the needs of patients who start their treatment and look into the situation in practice. After completing this questionnaire, the respondents could write a comment or a suggestion regarding the first consultation. Precisely 1,630 patients participate in this research, 890 from Serbia and 740 from other European countries. 54 IVF specialists filled in this questionnaire in Serbian or English. We got an overview of the state of communication between patients and doctors at the first visit. But how can communication at the first visit be a problem? The research led to the conclusion that the communication issues between the doctor and patients may influence the quality of treatment, setting the diagnosis, course of the IVF procedure, increase fear of continuing the treatment, and also impact the patient's quality of life. During the first consultation, the doctor leaves an impression on the patient, which is very important for building trust. Every part of this consultation is vital for future relationship. The first consultation and communication with an IVF expert decide where the patient chooses to continue the treatment, which means that they have a direct impact on the choice of the clinic and the doctor. For this reason, objectivity, honesty, and empathy are crucial. Both parties could be active listeners, which means that the specialist must listen to their patients and also patients must listen to their doctor. Unless you communicate with patients by looking them in the eye and letting them to tell their story, it is highly unlikely that you will gain their trust and that they will come back. Therefore, communication at the first visit is fundamental both for patients and for doctors. So, what were the objectives of the research? The aim of the research was to point to the most common problems that patients face during the first consultation. 
fears, misunderstandings, expectations, needs. All questions in the questionnaire deal exclusively with the first communication between experts and patients. Of course, the perspective of the IVF specialist was also important, their opinion on the problems they face. <clears throat> and who are the respondents? It is not surprising that the majority of the respondents are women, 96%. Women read about treatments more often and they get informed more. They are often the focus of interest, and this research confirmed this. When it comes to age, a little more than half of the respondents are between the ages of 36 and 40. The others are not older than 35. This shows that the majority of women and men who deal with infertility problems and who seek an expert's help are in the reproductive age. We may say that the research mostly includes women in the reproductive age. Now it is a question, how long have they been dealing with infertility? More than 50% of the respondents have been treating infertility for up to five years. The worrying fact is that there is a group of women who have been dealing with this for more than 10 years and it, uh, and it is about 20% of them. This fact shows that infertility can be exhausting and long fight for some patients. Still, most of them have been dealing with this problem for up to five years. Most of the respondents have already had IVF procedure, 84% have some experience with these treatments. Another question is how to get the information about the treatments. Patients go to the primary health centers and get an opinion and advice about what to do. Primary health centers are expected to give the first information about IVF treatment. Still, do they do it? It is worrying that in Serbia, 75% of the respondents do not get the basic information about infertility treatment and primary in primary health centers. The situation is less alarming in other countries. About 40% do not get the required information. More attention should be paid to the primary health centers. But what do patients expect from the first visit? When patients come to the first consultation with an IVF expert, they have to face the fact I or we really have a problem with conception. If it, uh, if it is their first conversation with an IVF expert, they experience disbelief, fear of unknown, sadness, remorse, they might not understand the procedure or sometimes refuse to accept the treatment, but also have faith in buying the solutions. Their feelings are mixed and hopes and expectations are sometimes high. All the respondents answer questions about the first consultation regardless of whether it was their first visit ever or first with a certain doctor at a certain clinic. Let's see the patient, uh, what the patients actually expect. A prognosis about outcome, personal estimate of the doctor, 90%. To feel free to express their feelings, 83%. High quality and professional service, 82%. Details about the procedure, 79%. Greater support from the doctor, 76%. Absolute dedication to their problem, 68%. More transparency on the IVF center and the overall success rate of the center and the team, 67%. Detailed explanation of every future step and a concrete proposition for the continuation of the treatment, 63%. Better focus on the previous test results, procedure, or treatments, 58%. Detailed information about medication and their impact on health, uh, on health and the quality of life, 46%. But also more support from the doctor during the IVF procedure, 60, 65%. <clears throat> on the other hand, how much do patients really understand doctor? Only 10% understand completely what they need to do after the first conversation. The rest of them need more clarification, which they look for online. And even 90% of them do the medical terms. It is clear that patients don't understand doctors well enough. Therefore, doctors should be more focused and provide better explanation. Are patients afraid? Oh yes, we could say that patients are afraid. It is a worrying fact that even 
49% of patients feel fear. They are afraid of the first conversation with the doctor. 70% of the respondents don't feel free to ask questions, and it is a worrying fact. This fear is probably due to their expectations and diagnosis. The atmosphere and doctor's attitude and manner of communication might even make this fear even worse. Therefore, the IVF specialist should use the right approach in both verbal and nonverbal communication to help the patients overcome fear. We can say empathy is necessary. What is also important is how patients actually choose an IVF expert for the first consultation. They base their choice on recommendation, the professional approach of the team, the credibility of the clinic. Recommendations are certainly important for making the first decision and are very often the reason why someone chooses a particular clinic. Recommendations come as a result of high quality communication during the IVF process and the overall success rate of the center and the team. The credibility of the clinic depends on the approach, quality of information and pay, uh, the patients receive, support provided by medical staff, even interior of the clinic in the waiting room. Patient, uh, patients' expectations are certainly high, but according to the results, what do they actually get? They get partial information about their problem. 22% got almost no information, and 66% of them got partial information about the IVF treatment. The information, the information should be detailed and include all areas of treatment. Now we can ask, what is important for patients during the, per, the first IVF consultation? The most important factor is absolute indication to their problem. The second most important thing is to obtain detailed information about the treatment, and the third one is a pro professional and high-quality service. This research also included the opinions of doctors about the first consultation with their patients. The majority of doctors who filled in the questionnaire have more than 10 years of experience in IVF. This fact is of great significance for us, considering that they are experienced in this field. Now, let's see what IVF specialists think what is their view of the problem? IVF experts believe that patients are not informed enough about the IVF procedure and that they come to the first consultation without the basic knowledge of what, what awaits them. 67% of doctors believe that patients should be more prepared, but they don't state in which way they should prepare themselves. This may be finding information themselves or thorough the information they get in primary health centers. 90% of doctors believe that patients ask clear, detailed questions regarding further procedure and treatment. Also, it is general opinion of doctors that patients come to them late. More than 80% of doctors agree with this. Not all of them agree about Dr. Google. So, 50% answer that they are not sure whether Dr. Google is their friend or enemy. The other half was equally divided. 25% believe that Dr. Google is patient's friend and can be helpful during the treatment, while 25% believe that he's an enemy and that, the, and that patients get wrong information. It might be concluded doctors expect their patients to trust them from the very beginning. Most of them believe that they provide enough support to patients during the IVF process. It is interesting that doctors are mostly aware of the downsides of the first communication with patients. They believe that communication during the first consultation should be the higher level. In order to make their communication successful, both patients and doctors should be aware that communication needs to be a two-way process. Trust is important. Sincerity is important. Feelings are important. But how to improve the current situation? Listen to the patient needs. Let them feel free to express their emotions. Devote more attention to patients, methods of treatment, test results, hospital failures. Show more empathy for their problem. Answer all questions regarding the procedure, no matter how detailed they are. Explain in detail every step in the treatment, methods of treatment, test results, possible reasons for failures. Talk with patients without a rush. Give concrete and clear suggestions for the continuation of treatment with the
prognosis as well as problem with microfilm. Be pleasant, available and cooperative. Offer them high quality and professional service. This refers to the whole IVF team. Show absolute dedication to their problem during the consultation without comparing them with other patients and without giving examples. Everyone is unique. If possible, create a pleasant and supportive atmosphere. Also, we have recommendations for patients. Get informed more about the IVF procedure. Get patients. Trust the chosen doctor. Reach specialists as early as possible in order to solve the problem more easily. Don't wait too long. Trust the IVF team. Understand that success of the IVF procedure does not depend only on specialists, embryologists, team, and so on. The first consultation is just the beginning of the procedure and treatment, and there are many steps ahead. So remember that it's not possible to get the true picture and develop real trust in such a short time. At the end, we can say communication during the first consultation is of key importance for both patients and IVF specialists. The first impression is critical to earning trust, and trust is a result of good communication. There are certainly a number of ways to improve communication between patients and doctors, and this research is pointed to some key factors and offered basic guidelines. If we had to summarize them in one word, it would be trust. Trust is a key to success. Patients, you should accept help and trust your doctor. Doctors, be sincere and honest in your intention to help and trust your patients. Thank you for your attention.